So for me, I've always, since I've been a physician, I've always gotten the flu shot every single year. Do you get it multiple times per season? No, just once. Okay, so at the beginning yeah. of the flu season when they say yeah. flu shot available now. So yes. it's, it's a mix of antibodies against known um, strains of the flu. Yeah, interesting. They, the way that they try to figure out or guess uh, the way it is, because that's what it is, it's a guess, is they look six months earlier to see what happened in the Southern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And they see what was circulating there, and then they believe that's what's going to be circulating uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. And they do the same in, in the South. They look and see what's circulating up here, and they try to figure out what it's going to be there. So they, there's usually about three or four different ones that they try to put in there. Ever since 2009, they've tried to put one in there about 2009 because that was a really bad year. We, we mentioned that in terms of that study on sunlight, but in terms of the uh, of the the side effects as a result of that, it's it's been pretty bad. I mean, to give you an example, I had a patient re recently in the intensive care unit. Uh, this patient came in uh, very poorly controlled diabetes, hemoglobin A1C of like 16, 17. It was very bad, and she developed. Uh, she got the flu, and she her immune system was not well. She actually also got uh, a very bad fungal infection that was near fatal. Um, and so that's that's the typical patient that we're going to see who's going to have that type of a bad reaction to the flu. People who are immunocompromised, people who are not metabolically healthy, these are the ones that are wide open. And so a flu virus is going to, to do a lot of, of damage there. So what does the flu vaccine do? It gives the immune system a an advanced notice of what this antigen is. And that has two effects. 